Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the Nine Moles Gadget Review Channel. Today I'm review a product from Epic Water Filters. The company sent it over to me, so I really appreciate that. It's Epic Water Filters, Boulder, Colorado, water filtration jug. It says to reduce is ordinary, to remove is epic. It eliminates 99.9% .9 of contaminants, it says. Um, it's BPA free. And one of the things that attracted me and why I wanted to do this review of this product is because it re removes fluoride. And so fluoride, is one of those things that a lot of companies don't claim to remove. This one does make that claim. And to, I guess, uh, check that fact, I bought this testing kit from Amazon, 16 in one drinking water test strips. Um, so I'm gonna test to see, you know, I'm gonna have the control, which is normal tap water. I'm gonna test the Brita. I'm gonna test this epic water filter here and see if it actually re removes all the things like uh, hardness, um, Chlorine, iron, copper, lead, nitrate, uh, nitrite, MPS, total chlorine, and this checks for fluoride. Uh, yeah, on and on it goes. If you want to see all the things it tests, but yeah, it's really hard to find a filter that removes uh, fluoride or makes makes that claim. Um, you know, even Brita, I don't think makes that claim on their website. So it's really interesting. It's like fluoride is one of those things that. A lot of people want removed, but in order to do it, I think there are systems that are called uh, reverse osmosis, and those remove um, fluoride, I believe. But those are much more expensive. So this is actually a, uh, it's called the Epic Pure, 4.9 out of five stars, 391 reviews on their website, 3.5 liters, and let's see, there's a regular price of $60. I think there's a coupon, the replacement or the filter, you need a replacement after three months. So it's pretty cost effective. Uh, landfill bound plastic bottles are 100% recyclable, independently certified, blah, blah, blah. Do you want to remove lead and fluoride? Then this is the picture for you, it says. That's the claim. Let's open this up, see what's inside. And yeah, I'm really excited to test this out. Here we go. All right, gonna open this thing up here. And that's, I'm curious to see the form factor compared to the Brita. So water filtration jug dispenser setup and usage. Wow, that's a nice booklet. Look at that thing. It's like a, it's got a cover, nice kind of natural paper. It says about Epic Water Filters. Epic Water Filters was founded by Ash Heather in April 2015. Having just moved to the U.S. from Asia and witnessing firsthand plastic bottle pollution on the beaches and in the rivers, he started thinking there had to be a solution to, to the environmental time bomb. All right, so yeah, if you want to read that, pick up the filter. Let's talk about TDS meters. Being able to test your water, see what contaminants, So yeah, I'm not using a T TDS meter today. All right, so nice packaging, all recyclable, which is nice. They're really thinking about things. You have a little display on top here to tell when you uh, need to remove your, or replace your filter. Yeah, so check it out, the different form factor. So this is actually let's say, a little bit smaller than the standard Brita. Plastic. This screws off. I guess this here is the filter. So the water comes through, through this filter right here. That's kind of cool. And then you have the nice logo, Epic Water right there. All right, so, so far so good. I would say both pictures are, you know, pretty similar, pretty attractive. I mean, you know, nothing that like looks cheap or anything like that. They just both look like water filters that you're used to, plastic water filters. Um, 
I would say the one thing I do like about the Brita is there's, you know, no, there's no moving parts whatsoever, really. And this one you have kind of like hinges and little things right here. And, you know, that's always, I guess, it's convenient for sure because you add water there and, you know, the pitcher, the spout co gets covered. But, uh, you know, it could break at some point. So, yeah, just something to think about. All right, so I'm just reading the instruction booklet here. And uh, so, yeah, you screw the... Uh, the filter on, fill the reservoir with cold tap water, discard the first two jugs, you know, use on water or use on the, use the water on plants and hit your start timer to begin the 90 day countdown, the timer on the lid of your jug. So one person filter life is four to five months, two people, three to four months, family, two to three months. And then it has replacement, the spout. Let me just look at the. Uh... So here we go. Okay. So this is what I want to look for. They have printed test results. So you can kind of look at these. That's really cool that they actually print the results. Uh, fluoride, pure water filter, or the Epic Pure water filter, which is what I have. Uh, that's 97.88 reduction in fluoride. That's pretty amazing. The Epic Nano water filter, 68%. Chromium, 6. The Epic Pure water filter, 99.2. Epic Nano water filter, 96.6. Glyphosate, which is Roundup, uh, or glyphosate, which is Roundup, 99.9% .9 on both of them. Microplastics, 99.6. 99.6. Total trihalothinanes, TTHMS, 99.4, 99.4. Chlorine, 98.4, and then Epic Nano is 96.8. PFCs, PFOs, PFOAs, PFOs, 99.6, 99.6. Lead, 99.94, 99.4. So yeah, I mean, it's just like, yeah, honestly, most people don't have time to know everything. It's just, it's kind of like one of those things that with filtered water, it's like there's things you know, there's things you know you don't know, and then there's things you don't know that you don't know. I think that's how it goes, that's saying. But it's kind of like, um, to me, it's like filtered water is kind of just like an insurance policy. It's like, yeah, I used to drink tap water, no problem. But I think filtered water is just kind of, it's just like, it to me, it just makes sense, you know? Just filter your water, um, you never know. Uh, it doesn't hurt anything. At least as far as I know, it doesn't hurt anything. Unless you're taking out all the minerals, and then that's one thing that you have to think about is, are you taking out minerals of your water? How are you gonna get your minerals? So it's important to kind of, I guess some people remineralize mineralize their water, especially with, I think, a reverse osmosis machines. Um, I don't know exactly all the stuff that goes with that, but uh, yeah, you're gonna have to do more research. But yeah, on the review, the most important thing was this taking out fluoride. So let's, let's uh, run it through a few cycles and then uh, let's get started with the test. So here we go. So yeah, that's the process. You don't have to take off the lid. The Brita, you have to take off the lid. This one, it has that little hinge right there, the little, little opening, which is kind of nice. So the, it's already coming out. I'll just let you see how fast the water kind of drips through the filter. So yeah, I mean, it's not instant. It's gonna take a while. So if you do get this, you're gonna have to be a little bit patient. But I think that's pretty ex expected. You know, you make it ahead of time. All right, let me just show you how it pours out. And yeah, that's a nice spout. That's actually way more water that comes out of a British spout. All right, I'm gonna fill it up one more time. And yeah, we'll get started on this test here. All right, so I got this test set up right here. And you can see on the little post-it note, we have the Brita. So I'm gonna fill this up with Brita. This is a, uh, another water filter I have called the Aquasana. I'll show it to you in a second, or the Aquasana. This is the Epic Water, so the product I'm reviewing, and then we'll have the Control Water. So let me just show you filling up the uh, with the Aquasana. All right, so Aquasana here. So this is one that I use most often, so it'll be really interesting to see what this one's like. I'm going to fill them up kind of, I would say three, four, something like that. All right. And so the Brita. 
fill this up with the Brita. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just filling up with them enough where I can put the strip in there. Because I have these test strips. Let me just show you the box. And these were well reviewed on Amazon, four out of five stars. No test strip, it seems like, is perfect on Amazon. So it's really difficult to find something that's, they all kind of look the same, um, but it's just really difficult to find a test strip that uh, gets 100% reviews. But this one looked decent, um, so I'm gonna trust that it will work to a certain amount. Obviously this isn't you know lab testing or anything like that, um, but it should provide some, I guess, level of, uh, you know, results. So we have the control water and then the epic water, which is what I'm really curious about. All right, there we go. So yeah, let me just show you uh, how this works. You Im immerse the strip for two seconds and then remove the strip. Do not shake. Um, and it's fast, 15 to 60 seconds. Wait 60 seconds, read the results. Or for, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna open this little jar up here. And I think, sealed. All right, that's, that's what they look like. You get a ton of them. And... So what I'm gonna do... Okay, so the control water, I'm gonna do that first. So here we go. 1002, remove. All right. I'm just gonna kind of set them next to the All right, so the Brita, one, 1,002. Okay, aqua sauna. One, 1,002, 1,000. All right, and Epic water, one, 1,000, two, 1,000. All right, Alexa, set timer for 60 seconds. For how long? 60 seconds. For how long? 60 seconds. One minute, starting now. All right, so it's been 60 seconds, and what I'm gonna do is take these and I'm gonna kind of line them up so we have the epic water so this they'll be easier to read so I'm gonna start with the blue on top then we have the aqua sauna okay so every everyone has the blue on top the Brita all right, and then the control. All right, so. And then I'm gonna have a test strip that nothing was done to it. So this is a test strip where nothing was done to it. Let's move the camera. All right, so. Let's start at the top, total hardness of the water. So the darker and more purple it is, the more, let me just show you. So this is zero. So nothing done to this strip. You can see the blue. Um, this one looks more purple. Maybe just a tad. The control definitely looks more purple. So 
So that would, the control would probably be at 120, or between 50 and 120. Epic water, 25. These kind of, all look kind of around 25. This may be a little bit more. All right, so total free chlorine. They all kind of look the same. Not much. They're pretty white, so let me just show you the, the grid here. Um, iron. So the more orange, so the third one is iron. So control. Not much. It seems like the Brita has more iron in it for some reason. Aquasana. A little bit. And then the epic water looks maybe a little bit less. All right, so fourth is copper. Control. I don't know if the British, the British seems like it has more. I'm not sure what happened. Um, it could be tainted results. I don't know. The control seems like it has less iron than the other, the filter, which is, seems impossible. It seems like the Aquasana has more iron. Uh, yeah. Lead. All right, so lead, it kind of goes, let me just show you that. So the lead, you can see the color scale. So that's the fifth one down, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So every one of them doesn't seem like much lead. It's kind of all pretty similar. All right, nitrate. So the control. I would say definitely has more color than all the other ones. The filters seem like they did a good job. The, the control has seems like it has a little bit of nitrate. Nitrate PPM. So that's the, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, not much in any of them. MPS. I'm just looking at the control for some of them because. This is not registering on any of them, so I'm just looking at the control. Uh, MPS nothing, total chlorine, doesn't look like much at all. All right, so fluoride. So fluoride, so the fluoride, let me just show you, this is what we wanted to, to see. So if it goes to orange, that means, so it's all, I would say, is it purple? Kind of a purplish color, kind of like, I don't know, uh, eggplant, something like that, eggplant color. And that kind of turns to a reddish and then kind of an orange if, it, orange, is, orange if it's really high. So even the control doesn't seem like there's much fluoride, at least it's not registering. So. You know, you know that there's fluoride in here. This is one of the things about the Amazon uh, reviews is they said kind of, I mean, the, the negative reviews are like, this is worthless. It's very hard to read. And, you know, it's saying that there's no fluoride, even though we know that there's fluoride in here. So that's that's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, it's definitely, it, I mean, fluoride, basically it's registering at zero parts. So, I mean, based on the color. All right, so let's keep going down. Cyanuric acid. Uh, Epic water. The color seems a little bit lighter. But that's interesting. Actually, for total hardness of the water, look at this. So look at how they're all registering uh, different colors. The Brita... Actually, for the win, that, that's a clear win on the Brita. There's almost zero color for the, heart, the water hardness. And all the other ones are kind of bluish, which means it's, it's picking up something. So that, that's interesting. Chlorine. Okay, so... So that was the, the, acid, the um, cyanuric acid. And then we have the ammonia chloride chloride ppm so that's picking up orange so that that that's quite high and it seems like all these are kind of registering the same 
let's see, bromine, yeah, all kind of the same color, total alkalinity, same color, yeah, carbonate, that would be green if there was some in there, let me just show you the, the scale, the pH, all registering kind of the same. So. I would say these, yes, this is your solution on Amazon, you know, as far as a well-reviewed uh, it's test with lots of reviews. And I would say they're not, you're not getting much information here. Um, so I'd say kind of a fail on these test strips, especially for the, the fluoride. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like. And so you can see you know, color wise, it's pretty similar across the board. So I would say if they're independent lab test results, say a different story, it's hard for me to believe that this is actually accurate. Um, so yeah, but I mean, this was, other than sending all these samples to a lab, uh, this is gonna be the best way someone at home would be able to uh, review or pick up these things. All right, so next test, um, I'm gonna, I don't know what these test strips are made of, so I'm gonna dump them out here and get some new glasses, but I think next test would be taste. How does it taste? So each one I will do a little taste test because I think that's gonna tell you a lot. So first, this is tap water, here we go. Yeah, strong chlorine taste. I mean, it's like pungent. Especially after drinking a, a water, filtered water for a long time. All right, so let's check the Brita. Yeah, Brita, I mean, there's a reason why Brita is popular. It makes nice, smooth water. Definitely get rid of a lot of that chlorine taste. All right, so here's the Epic water. Yeah, very, very smooth. No taste from the filter or anything like that. Super smooth, all that chlorine taste is gone. And actually I have some more, the aqua sauna. Let's have it in the bottle, in the fridge. So that's that filter you saw. And yeah, the Aquasan is real smooth as well. So I would say, yeah, if you're looking for an alternative to Brita, Brita, um, you know, they make the claims that they filter out some stuff, but definitely they don't, they don't make the claim from what I could see, unless you know otherwise. But this is the company that made the claim of filtering out uh, fluoride. And I really like that they provide a test uh, booklet with all the information. So if you want more information, they back up their products. Uh, good company, check it out. So yeah, check it out, go to, this is the Epic Pure. This thing, I think you can get a coupon, but it's like 60 bucks regularly. And then there's actually a club price for 48. And so yeah, I do recommend the Epic water filter. I think there's a lot of good things going for this thing. And if you're in the market for a Brita, check out Epic water filter in the process because I think that they're making quality products over there. And yeah, they're definitely on a mission to do good things. For example, replace 1,000 plus landfill plastic bottles, 100% recyclable, independently certified across the globe in both field and laboratory tests. So yeah, check it out. Epic water filters, and you can get more information in the show description. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Till next time, I'll see you later.